As a developer, I enjoy writing code, and I love building apps that people are excited to use. One thing I do know is that creating a great user experience when building apps can be really, really hard. Now with Cast-enabled devices and the Google Cast set of technologies, we've done lots of user testing to refine a simple experience for your users. If you follow our guidelines when integrating Cast into your application, you'll ensure a great end-user experience that feels familiar to your users. At the core of Cast is using existing technology to control things. We realise that people's phones or their tablets make a fantastic remote control. They have a supercomputer in their hands and they know how to use it, so we modelled Cast around using the phone or tablet as the remote for your entertainment system or your shared living room experience. The beauty of this is that it's familiar to people. People already know how to use their phone, so people find it easy to use because it's consistent and obvious. It also makes it a personal experience since your users can cast their own playlist from their own device to the shared entertainment system. Your life as a developer can be easier and more successful by taking advantage of our guidance. For example, we provide guidance on how to modify your existing applications to enable a familiar cast experience, whether it's running on a phone or a tablet or even a laptop. Your apps need to deal with things like where to place the cast icon, the chooser to pick cast devices on the network, the states of the icons and so on. We have clear guidance as part of our documentation and design checklist here. Developers also need to take care of the receiver which runs on the cast device connected to your TV or audio system. The UI guidance for that helps you enable a personal streamlined experience with ease. Across the whole connected cast experience, the UX guidance provides consistency and keeps the user in control. Like, for example, your user could be looking at the phone or at the TV, but you don't know which. So our UX guidelines make sure that wherever your user is looking, they see proper information that guides them in what they're supposed to do. This gives them a consistent UI and makes things really simple. Also, when you're in a living room, it's like the 10-foot experience. The screen is over there, it's 10 feet away, and you're over here with the remote control. So it's really important that your user has full control because that's a really powerful device, whether it's connected to an 80-inch TV or a 2,000-watt sound system. Cast is also a shared experience. Since multiple people can be interacting with the Cast device at the same time, we designed this so that anyone can add to the queue, share a playlist, join the game from their phone, or control anything that's playing. For a more detailed look at our UX guidelines, watch our short videos on icon placement, controlling volume, and dealing with connections, or follow these links to our UX documentation. The best practices are important, and we really thought them through. It makes your life easier, and your app will do better if you just follow these guidelines.